Thanksgiving. All right, guys, you know what this segment is. This is where we tell you how much we really f or don't f with a film. Considering this is a film that was told, to, I was introduced to this film um, probably about a year ago. You mentioned it. And I was like, I'll watch it. I put it on my my David Netflix queue, meaning that when, when I got to, I got it to it, but it was in the queue. But for the show, since we handle business here and we do what we do and we do deep research and deep dives, um, I had to make sure that I did my due diligence. And I'm going to tell you, I was surprised. So five is the most we can give a film that means like we really truly with it but for me i came out giving this film four 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 and then that's strong for me mm -hmm. and i but i will say this four with the right to reserve how much i with it at a later date because that was on the first viewing yeah so yeah, about that. you know what i'm saying Absorbed. time and time and time and time like i would have i like i like the first time i saw new jack city i wasn't like oh it's the greatest thing ever and then you grow up and you keep watching like oh shit, no mm -hmm. no it's happening. So for me, I give this film four strong f**ks with room for not improvement, but just room for growth to let it sit on me like coffee. You don't you don't just chug coffee. Mm -hmm. You sip it. You gotta appreciate it. So yeah, me four. I give it four. F**ks. All right, I'll take that um, and I'll add one to it and give it five f**ks okay. because uh, it, it I I just think it's a perfect movie. It is a flawless landing, um, a beautiful ride through the sky perfect takeoff i don't know why the hell i did that plane ride in reverse i guess i'm tenet. still stuck in tenant yeah. yeah um but i just think it, it everything that it set out to do it did it flawlessly and um it it didn't try to be more than it was it 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 like didn't shoot for things and fall short it was simple it was elegant it was the the production quality for uh, I mean when you, when you find out it's a two million dollar budget most of it went to location and talent to find out that it, how much was left for the actual production mm -hmm. and then what that production looked like the quality of uh, every shot and the continuity that I didn't notice uh, there was yeah. like a few minuscule things like like uh chino in the background has his hands on his shoulder in the club and then when it cuts to him about to talk to the girl he's kind of leaning like this like little yeah. tiny things like that but then to find out that they only did like three takes of each thing and they days got it production time that tight and it looks that good um and again i can't i i can't talk enough about like in a comedy there's no there's no fat on this thing it mm -hmm. is lean and mean every piece of dialogue is there to make you either <laughs> or laugh out loud like right. either way you are always in chuckle mode at the least or just like belly laughing because uh, like there are sometimes i couldn't even write something down because i was laughing i couldn't see through the tears in my eyes because something up that chad said right or the way that glenn howerton would respond so the the cast the production the writing the editing uh it was all just i couldn't imagine giving it anything less than five f and i fully fully f with this movie i mean again after he drops the line i'm the number one civil rights person and he's caucasian and he truly believes it i think that's what martin would have wanted and again from beginning to end they never they never call it in. They never phone it in from no. from the first second until the credits roll. I got eight. Is, yeah, and then it, all the way to the end. It with is. The, the end with police brutality. <laughs> yeah, we just so we shot the wrong person. We're just gonna pick the bullets up, put them back. It never happened. Uh -huh. So it's like, there you go, man. So yeah, I got. So all in all, it's four and a half between the both of us. But hey, that's pretty high rate. And hey, listen, you're in the running for film of the season. What what did you think about it? Let us know in the comments. Let us know how much you f with this movie. If you've seen it, uh, do you love it? Or uh, I would love to know if there's anybody out there that doesn't like this movie that has seen it that watched it was like, eh, that's not funny. I want to understand that person. So if you're that person specifically, please sound off in the comments and and let us know why you didn't like Coffee Town. But for all yous out there that that love it, tell us how much you love it. Uh, this is your opportunity to do so in the comments. That's the trailer.